Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make cash envelopes for the cash system. They are going to be laminated. If you can see this here, this is an example of one that's been done. You need one of the roller cutters. Uh, to be honest with you, you can't remember what it's called. A couple pieces of scrapbook paper. You will also need thermal laminating sheets. They come in a pack of, I don't know, I think I got a pack of 15 of them for really cheap. Um, and then you will also need a thermal laminator, which I will show you later when we start to laminate our envelopes. Okay, to get started, we are going to fold our, tear our scrap of paper out, fold it in half, and along that folded side, we're going to put it up against our ruler, take our pen, and we're going to measure seven inches in length. Okay, and then we're going to turn this, line it up just right with our tick mark. If I can get it in there right. And mark it all the way down. Okay, and then you just want to scoot it over so that you can cut that line. Okay, now when you take it out to do the other side, you're going to take the folded end and put it to your left. Now we're only going to measure three and a half for the height on these. So measure the three and a half, line up your tick mark, make your line, line up your mark and cut. So then you just get this smaller folded piece of paper. Okay, and we're just going to do that one more time with the other sheet. Line it up. We're doing seven inches long. These are very, very simple and easy to do. I've done a few sets that I've actually sold on Etsy. Um, they're really, really cute, you guys. I mean, I don't carry much cash, otherwise I would probably be using the cash system myself and would have probably a ton of these. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can keep small things, you know, stamps or um, just whatever you want. Uh, gift certificates, if you have gift certificates somewhere. Um, if you have gift cards and you just want to stick them in there, that's good too. You can do um, your cash, obviously, um, and any other little small things that you can find to fit. Okay, so now that we have our two envelopes, move that to the side, you will need to get your laminating sheet and open it up. And now I like to put the folded ends down, both of them, so that it's easy for me to cut them out. That way I don't get confused on what side is up and what side is down, which one's open and closed. I'm not sure at this point with it being uh, laminated that that would matter too much. Just be careful with your cuts. So this is the laminator that I have. It is a Scotch brand. I believe I got this at Walmart as well for fairly cheap. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you are going to place that within your guides. Put that in. When I turn mine on, it has settings already to three mil. You can also use the thicker laminating sheets um, and that is the setting for the five mil and you just tap whatever setting you want um, My blue light shows that it was ready So we're just gonna let it laminate And it's fairly quick It's really quiet The most time I have with this is just getting it to heat up um, Which it's very warm to the touch so I wouldn't let little hands Get near it while you're laminating or letting it heat up to use it I could probably burn them pretty good. Okay, and you see it stopped, so I'm going to pull it out the rest of the way, and I'm going to move this back over to the side. Okay, 
and now we have our laminated sheet here and now it's fairly easy to see the dark line across the edge um, where you marked to measure and that's not a bad thing you're gonna end up cutting that off anyway for the most part but just cut between them and then you'll start measuring um, and I just kind of use the ruler because it's see-through and I just go to the edge of that and cut the little piece off and I'll do the same for the other side as well I just push it as far over as I can without it coming out and then I'll just cut the sides off I do the same with the back just enough where it's close to but not close enough for it to cut open okay and you can see that leaves a little bit of an edge on the sides and the bottom and then we are going to on the top half I'm going to slide the actual printed paper all the way over to my second guard here so it's going to cut in between these two lines which is going if you could hear that to cut the top off to give it an opening and that is it you guys that's that's how you do them um, do that one more time for you with this one here just scoot it all the way over sometimes it's a little difficult to see exactly where it's at um, and just remember, you can always take more off, um, but you cannot put more back on. So start with a good distance away and kind of work with that. Find where you're most comfortable cutting so that you know that you're not going to cut the sides and the bottom off. But that you're not going to have too much extra of the laminating paper. You know, overlapping because then it's going to make it hard to carry and there you go and I like to do two sheets and one laminating pouch just to make it easier you could probably fit more but I choose not to do that because I don't want to get confused on where the folded side was on them when I go to cut them out of the plastic but yeah there you are here's some other ones that I've done um, you can do them in various prints. I actually bought um, a whole large scrapbook paper. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, it was all packaged together. And you just toss your trash and post them on your Etsy, eBay, wherever you'd like to sell them, Facebook. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and while you're here, please subscribe to my channel. Um, trying to put out new videos as often as possible trying to do that more now um, if you have any questions please leave that down in the comments below I would love to hear your questions or your comments on the cash envelopes um, if there's anything else that you would like to see also put that down in the comments below and we will try to see what we can do for next time's video that's all we've got for today so I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon